Hey guys, welcome to your bonus no contact reading for Cancer. This is going to be for the rest of your August going into September. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to a person that you are in contact with. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what will happen if you did have contact with this individual. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Switch girls if you want. It could be the person that you're in no contact with that's wondering this about you. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that, so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post. I'm going to go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Uh, so, uh, Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. The person at Cancer is a no contact with. Is it a good idea for a Cancer to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with? For the rest of their August going into September. Six of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Mm. I would say no. You know why? I feel like this person is not really ready to have an equal give and take sort of relationship. I feel like this person is not really quite ready to give. You know, I feel like this person is closed off here. I feel like this person is like focused on themselves, focused on their own goals here. Could be a situation that this person is not really giving you the attention that you're looking for here. Page of Wands here and Temperance. You know, I feel like this person is someone here that feels very safe here with you, but I also feel like this person is not really looking for anything more than, you know, perhaps like a fling or sexy times or friends with benefits or something like that. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. Time of the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. This person has a genuine fear of connection here. I also feel like this person feels like they fear, like if they do get into a relationship here, this person will get distracted from their work here. You know, because I feel like this person enjoys success, you know, enjoys their career here, you know, enjoys their passion here. And I feel like this person will get distracted or that they feel like they will lose it. The Two of Swords, the Two of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like this period of no contact, it's definitely making this person sort of like reassess whether they want to stay or go here. You know, whether to stay or go, and I feel like this is you, Cancer, because I feel like you have deep emotional investments into this individual here, because I feel like you do love this person, but I also feel like you realize that you can't wait around for this individual. Like, it's kind of like, you know, you just have to go. You just have to go. Let's see what else do we have for, for Cancer. What will happen if there's any sort of communication between Cancer and the person that they are in no contact with? For the rest of their August going into September, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. Page of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles here.
King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the Empress, and the World. I feel like the universe wants you to know that, you know, this one person, this Queen of Wands here, you know, might not be ready for you. You know, but I feel like the universe wants to let you know that there's someone else better coming in for you with the Empress here. Because I do feel like you're this king here. Yeah, Cancer, I feel like you're getting an upgrade. You know, this person is very caring. This person is very nurturing. You know, this person, you know, can manifest here with you. This person has a life together. Yeah. So this person that you're in no contact with might not be the one, but someone here, someone else is the one here. Yeah, I do feel like there's a <coughs> there's gonna be a new person that's coming into your life. You know, as soon as you do let this person go, you know, I feel like you have already started the process of like releasing this person as you were dealing with this person here. And I see someone new coming into your life here that's gonna give you everything that you want, everything that you're looking for here. You could be meeting this person through your travels here. So whoever this queen is. This queen that's looking only for sexy time here, you know, that's looking for friends with benefits here. There's someone else better coming in for you. Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. You're going to try and want to work things out with the other person, with this Queen of Wands here, but I just feel like it's just not really going to work out. Yeah, you're you're gonna wonder why you were even fixated on this person because I feel like, like I said, there's someone better coming in for you. Someone who's an upgrade. Someone here who has your life together. Someone here who, who would want life here with you. All right. Yeah. Look at this. We have this Empress here and the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles on this side here. There's someone here much better coming in for you guys. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, you, Cancer, you're gonna wonder why you were even fixated on this person to begin with because, like I said, there's someone better coming in for you. All right. Yeah, I feel like, in a way, you're gonna get everything that you've ever dreamed of with this individual here. You're gonna feel like you're living, like, a, 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 you know, in a bit of a fairy tale story here. You know, when this Empress does come into your life. Okay. You know, because I feel like, in, I feel like you're going to realize eventually that you're, you're going to want to build a life with this person here. You know, you're going to want commitment and marriage with this individual. So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.